Hey guys, so the print is almost done and I just wanted to make an in-depth uh, video of what to do when you print your bearing because I just don't want you guys to mess up and think, hey, this bearing sucks. So these are uh, the four that I printed. They all work. That's the raw that you can print. Uh, and by the way, you can print that too. That's a 360 degree cover case for the GoPro. Uh, anyways, what I'm going to do right now is right when it finishes off, it's a glass plate, it's heated, so it's kind of stuck to it. I'm going to clog it off and I'm going to spin it like I did in another video. And that should release it and we'll see how it goes. I'll be back in a bit. All right guys, as you can see, we have 99% and uh, this is gonna be a bit of a feat of strength because it does require uh, a bit of hand movement. <laughs> and just FYI, I will post a time-lapse video so you guys can see how it prints. All right, there we go. All right, got it off the plate and I'm spinning as hard as I can. Oh, there we go. Loosed it up a little bit. There we go. Get the second one. That way it's fresh. Oh, see it's stuck to the glass pretty good. There we go. Loosen it up. Oh, there we go. See, it's spinning. And like I said in the instructional video before, in the beginning, this is all the spin you're gonna get. See, not much. All right, so now that we've got them loose, at least to that certain point, sometimes you will have a bit of a remnant in there. I like uh, this thing might get stuck slightly to the side. What you do is you just grab your nail and you push it through. Just check to make sure every one of them is over. And most of the time it comes off right in the beginning, but see like that one's stuck. There we go, I got it off. Alright, that's all of them. Let's go to the next one. This one has a bit more. It's a bit difficult. Uh, so what I would do in this situation, if it's hard to do it just with the nail alone, I would go back and heat it up with a heat gun or a hair dryer and then do it with a nail and then it would be easier. So this one's a bit stiffer, this one came out easier. All right, just to reference my last statement about the heat gun, uh, you don't always need it. Like I brought it closer to my body, I focused a little bit more and I pushed it through. Uh, the thing is, when you have a glass plate, it heats up the bottom layer and sometimes you have it uh, you know, spread. It's called, I think, an elephant's foot or something like that. So uh, you do sometimes need to spread them out. But other than that, this bearing is good to go. You just need to play on the carpet and in about two minutes, uh, you will have a nice spinning bearing. It's great. The best way is you print the rod and you put these on the rod. You don't need all these in the middle, but I'm just showing you. You put these on the rod, you go to your carpet and you spin it on the carpet. And that's what will give you the same spin as these ones. All right. It's workable bearings, they all spin. And you can also use that rod for, I guess, uh, storage. Okay. Here, let me just show you. There we go, I'll put the time lapse in there so you guys can have fun and enjoy printing. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I just wanted to mention, hey, I spend a lot of time making these and testing these so that you guys can print it ready to go at home. If you can support me via PayPal, you know, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, that'd be great. I'll see you guys next time and keep on printing.